Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of variables, dependent and independent variables. We will do so in 5 minutes or less. So you've been seeing data in the form of a table here, like we see on the screen, for many, many years. And starting in 5th grade, you probably saw these two words starting to describe the two sets of data, dependent and independent. And what we need to do in sixth grade is we need to be able to identify which set of data is the dependent variable or the dependent quantity and which is the independent. And if you think of the definition of those two words, it's pretty clear which one refers to which. The independent variable here is independent. It stands alone. It starts things off. And so what we need to do is we need to look at the information here, look at the story being told by the data, and we can identify the independent variable. The dependent variable changes, and it changes based on, you guessed it, the independent variable. So if we can identify the independent variable, then we can identify the dependent variable after that. That always changes based on the independent variable. So let's look at our data here. We have a family that's trying to get a cell phone coverage plan for their family. And we see the rates here. So one member is $40 a month. Two members is $80 a month, so it just doubles there. And you notice when you go to three members, it goes up only $30 rather than $40. And does the same again when we go from three to four. And then finally, by the time we get up from four to five, it just goes up $10. So the average person costs $30 each rather than $40 each. So it's a pretty good deal. The question is, is which of these would be the independent variable? Well, what is going to start things off? When you go into a cell phone company store, do you start with the amount of money you want to pay, or do you start with the amount of family members that you need to provide cell coverage for? Because that's going to be our independent variable. And in this case, we're going to start with our family members. This is going to be our independent variable because this stands alone. You can't change how many people are in your family. And you can't change how many people need to have coverage. So that stands alone. The cost then is going to be our dependent variable because that changes based on how many people we need. If we need cell coverage for one person, well, the dependent variable is going to be 40. It's only going to cost $40. But if we need cell coverage for four people, well, now it's going to cost $140 a month. So our independent variable is where things get started family members, the dependent variable is always changing based on our independent variable. Now let's look at a graph. Sometimes we'll see two pieces of information in a graph like this. So on our x-axis, we have the number of hours worked. So we've got a student here who is tutoring a neighbor's child in mathematics. And up on the y-axis, we have the amount of money that's earned every hour that's worked. So you see here this uh, student is being paid three dollars an hour. So with one hour the student earns three dollars. With four hours the student earns twelve dollars and so on. All the way up to six hours earns eighteen dollars and it continues on. We just go off the graph. So can we decide what is the independent and what is the dependent variable in this situation? Well remember our dependent variable is always changing based on our independent variable. So let's get started with our independent variable. That starts things off. So when we are looking at this situation, what do we start with first? The amount of money that someone earns or the number of hours that are worked? And we're probably going to see here that it's the number of hours that the child tutors the neighbor's kid that's going to start things off. That is going to be what drives how much money is earned. Because if there's only five hours of tutoring, then you're going to get $15. But if there's six hours of tutoring, you're going to get $18. So our independent variable is going to be the number of hours worked. So our dependent variable here, that always changes based on the independent variable. Our dependent variable is going to be the amount of money that is earned. Because that changes based on how many hours are being worked. So remember, the independent variable always starts things off. The dependent variable changes based on the independent variable. 